dollar matchmaker. Sonia missed her flight. What do you mean she missed her she flight? She missed her flight. You don't just get to decide when you want to do this. Oh. Let's focus on the client that's here this week. Yeah. Roble. His problem is he doesn't commit to love. Hey. If I never get to be married, I'll never get divorced. That, that is bull with Sonia. She's so alpha. She basically acts like there's no man on the planet good enough for her. Thank you. Bye. She needs to be shown the truth about herself. Why are you doing this? Stop filming. Welcome to the Millionaire's Club. I'm Patty Stanger, and I'm a third generation matchmaker who knows how to find love. I've upped my game and taken over an exclusive resort. This is so nice. Where I can watch my clients every move and give them hard truths and much needed love lessons. If I can't fix you up, who can? My goal is simple, find them love. Another match for the Millionaire's Club. I am the million dollar matchmaker. Let's get to work. So much craziness going on right now. Hi. It's a brand new week at the Millionaire's Club and I have two clients checking in who dream of love in their lives but need me to make it a reality. We've got Roble in the house. Now, his problem is he doesn't commit to love. Right. Okay, seriously. He is a hot mess when it comes to dating. He's the best chef in the world and he has right. no idea how to take those skills and apply it to his love life. Welcome to the Millionaire's Club. Thank My you. name's Louis Roble. I'm Roble. I'm 31 years old. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I am a professional chef and restaurateur. I need Patty's help because I've been dating for the last couple of years, but nothing seems to stick. Nothing seems to last. And I'm kind of at my wit's end. Have you ever been to San Diego before? No, it's my first time, your actually. first time? Well, we have already got you checked in. Really? Yep. So I'm going to escort you over to your room. I date. I see people. Nothing serious. My last two girlfriends were models. Their lifestyle works out with my lifestyle. It's kind of a little bit of rock and roll and a little bit of actual work. So last time I fixed him up, he went out with a girl for six months. He has like no time for the women. Right. Her work schedule, his work, bull they both live in Brooklyn. And then he has this thing where after two years, the relationship just falls away because he gets bored. Very smooth, very smooth. By my age, I would think that I would have had a, a longer relationship than two years, but I haven't. All right, so this is your room. Wow. Mark's gonna get your bags all set up for it's you. nice. But I will up and walk pretty easily if I don't see things working out in the long run. I'll just cut it off real quick. Hello? Hi, Roble. Hey, Patty. I want to see you. All right, so I'm just going to get my stuff together, and I'll see you in a little bit. Walk over to my suite. OK, bye-bye. So we have another client this week, Sony Bright. She's from Philadelphia. She yeah. is a tough, tough cookie. She owns these tanning salons all over the city. Now, the problem is she's so alpha. She basically acts like there's no man on the planet good enough for her. Right. And she has, as I like to call it, resting bitch face. <laughs> Where's uh, Miss Bright? Hi, Mark. Um, is she OK? OK, thank you. What happened? Well, Sonia missed her flight. What do you mean she missed her she flight? She missed her flight, and she has not responded to any of our calls. Now, you don't just get to decide when you want to do this. When you reserve a spot at the Millionaire's Club, you're making a commitment to yourselves and my team. Destin and Rachel have already gathered a half a dozen men downstairs for Sonia's love lesson. This is just Rude. She better have a really because good Because it's excuse. so disrespectful to us. Like, our time, our schedule, our staff. Lucy, we need to call Destin and Rachel and let them know what's happening. We will need to rearrange our love lesson with the men. Do you realize if she shows up, what the f I'm going to do to her? Right this way, guys. Please take a seat, guys. I just got word Sonia's on her way here. And it's ironic, because the love lesson I plan for her is about making good first impressions. Thank you all for being here to help us with our client, Sonia. Just because Sonia's not here doesn't mean that I can't start the lesson. Destin and Rachel are going to show a group of men that I handpicked from my database Sonia's first interview that we have with her. So let's take a look and give us your first impression. My name is Sonia Bright. I split my time between Philadelphia and New York City. I've vacationed all over the world. You name it, I've been every place but Japan and Australia. I live a very 
privileged life. I'm not the kind of girl that you're gonna find flying in coach ever. I've never taken public transportation in my life. I think it's filthy. My idea of roughing it is technically the Four Seasons. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'd like you to take the comments that you have and please write them down. Be as honest as you can. We need you to be real here. So let's move on to Roblade. Let's okay. focus on the client that's here this yeah. week. I gotta get a temperature reading on him. Where right. is his mental state at? Okay. He's gonna have to make some changes. Well, he's gonna make a lot of changes. He's gonna invest in his love life. Food is second. Right. Okay? That's gonna be big for him. Hi, Robler. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Hi. Good to see you. Hi. You too. Have, have a seat. seat. Okay. You look great. You look handsome. Mm, right back at you both. Okay, <laughs> what's going on? I'm, uh, I'm enjoying myself so far. Do you like so the resort? Far. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, but you know we're here, we're here to work. Yes, 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 okay. yes. Are you excited? Love is I'm work. very excited. Are you invested in this process? Uh -oh. I am invested uh -oh. in this well, process, That was like yes. the biggest hesitancy I have ever I seen am. from anyone. I am, I am. We just jumped right into it, huh? Roble has serious commitment issues. I can't get him to even commit to fixing his problems. But the good news is, is I got him in the door. And getting him in the door is the first step. Are you still so busy that you don't have time for love? Time is your problem. You need to split you in half, right? There is no greater commodity on this planet than love. And I just want to know, what are you looking for now? I know I need to settle down. OK. I need to grow up. Well, you need to grow up. Yeah. The only time you're focused on anything is when you cook. Yeah, I'm definitely like, I'm in the zone when I'm cooking. Right, he's like, he's totally checked out. He's like, you can't get near him. Right, in his element. Now, did you bring your chef gear? Did you bring your knives and all that stuff like I yeah, told you to bring? Yeah, it's all in my room. OK, because you're about to cook for a lucky lady. Probably. You look nervous. You, he is nervous. Candace is going to take you downstairs. Nah. OK, <laughs> you're going to go get your chef gear. Nah, and I then just she, got here. I don't give a shit. You are ready, honey. OK, I'm okay. here for it. I'm here. All right. My staff has been working hours setting up a kitchen in the courtyard where Roble is going to meet his surprise date. I have given Roble every high-end ingredient he needs to create something special for his date. I'm expecting him to be bold, big, and adventurous in his cooking like he is in his restaurant. Uh-oh, OK. OK. We wanted to provide you with an environment you could showcase your talents, mm -hmm. cooking a special dish for a very, very special lady. This dish needs to be amazing. All like, right. I need to see some passion. All right, I got it. Ooh, what do we have here for everybody likes shrimp? That's the safe way to go. Just play it safe? Yep. Definitely want to use some of this. I love corn. OK. I can't just cook for you? OK, let's focus. Let's see. I'm out. I just burned my finger. Are you OK? I'm OK. OK. I'm used to getting burned. But not in love. You just keep moving, rope life. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making this up as I go along. You know that, right? Well, your date, she is preparing herself while you play it safe. Boom. That's it? Yes. OK. Mm -hmm. I will go get your special date. Coming up. I know they see her for really who she is. Oh, no, these guys are done. They want a sweet Sally, not a bitchy Bertha. That's not really me. You cannot fake that out, honey. Just need to take it down a notch and chill. I care. Did anybody ever care about you in your life? That's a nice Are you surprise. Surprised? Yeah, I didn't. Here's your special day. I didn't know I was gonna see you. I was completely surprised when I saw Patty. I was like, am I seeing what I'm what I think I'm seeing? Enjoy yeah. your meal. Okay. Yes. I'm super excited. Unfortunately, I knew exactly how Roble was going to approach this love lesson. Roble did not put enough time and effort into cooking for his date. There wasn't enough uh, pizzazz because he, he didn't put any love and, and, and spice into it. It was all about getting in and getting out. And that's how he treats his love life. I never cook for women on the first date. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you take her to your restaurant, close the restaurant down mm -hmm. like late at night, and mm -hmm. cook for her? What's the, I mean. Now that's a good idea. You know? Well, that's why you're a pro. And right. that's why I'm single. Because that's where I would want to see you mm -hmm. in your element mm -hmm. if I was dating you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, you're making this dish. Mm -hmm. And are you thinking about the one you're making it for? 
I want to try to play it safe. I picked ingredients that would be simple. My yeah. favorite. Asparagus, just okay, lightly, lightly blanched, and um, some sauteed corn with chili and a little bit of salt. Is that love? To me, that's love. OK, you know why I'm here. You're not ready for a date yet. I think you can cook for the masses and be mm -hmm. a top chef and mm -hmm. own restaurants and be a killer in the field, mm -hmm. but then you phone it in for the for the date, for the girl. No, not really. That is bull You're afraid to commit to someone. I, okay. If I never get married, I'll never get divorced. That's bull Bang, and, then you'll look never, at that. and you'll never know love in your life. There is no greater dish mm -hmm. than love. So what you do in your dishes is equal to the amount of love you give in your relationship. You see that? No. You could have put all your heart and passion into impressing me with this dish. But instead, you whipped up something in six minutes and took the easy route. You cooked it fast, mm -hmm. and there's a reason, because mm -hmm. you got to get in, you got to get out, mm -hmm. right? Well, love takes time. It's not to be rushed. And if you don't give time to someone, what do they do? Peace. Exactly. They leave you. I know you, I mm. fixed you up before, you've been with me mm. before. This ain't my first rodeo mm. with you, okay? Those top 10 girls, the mm. ones you like, those scantily clad sexy mamas who got business brains and beauty, once they know you're not into commitment, they're mm. gonna get the hell out of there mm. and find a better dude. I haven't been able to get past the two year home. Because you don't give anyone a chance. At the end of the day, when you're 100, mm. okay, on your deathbed, mm. You're gonna look back at how many great restaurants you open, or you're gonna look about all the love that you didn't get in your life because you were too busy working and wouldn't give a woman your time. Like the way you cook for your restaurants, mm -hmm. I want you to bring that to your relationship. Okay. I'm ready to put 100% of my trust in Patty, so I'm excited and a little nervous to see how it all pans out. Now that I got Robley on track, Little Miss Late decided to make an appearance. And welcome to the Harris Resort. My name is Sonia Bright. I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm 38 years old, and I own a chain of tanning salons. I just started doing NPC fitness competitions last year with the hope of one day competing in the Arnold and the Olympia. I need way. you to make sure that everything that I ask for is on my desk by Monday. I've worked really hard in life, and I've managed to award myself a pretty luxurious lifestyle. I live in a high-rise penthouse condo. I drive a beautiful Mercedes. I take four to five pretty opulent vacations throughout the year. There isn't a part of the world that I don't wish to visit at some point in my life. Hi, how are you? Ah, Miss Bright. I understand you missed your, your flight yesterday. I did, unfortunately, but I'm here now. With Sonia, she's clueless what she does. She has no idea why she gets the reaction she gets. Sonia is so high maintenance. No man is ever good enough for her. She scares them all away, and she doesn't see it. I took advantage of her being a day late, and I already started her love lesson. I think that people can be intimidated by my success. I think men can be intimidated by any woman that may or may not make more money than them. And I think that other women are intimidated by women that are more successful than them. She wants the truth, right? right. Is that why she got on a plane and came all the well, way from Philly? I don't know if she can handle the truth. After you. Thank you. The reason that I hadn't found love is because I dated the same kind of guy over and over again. I was dating swab jerks. Very pretty to look at, but but jerks. Oh, here she comes. OK, Louie, really go little. get the door. I have no idea what Patty will think of me, but I am anxiously waiting to find out. Game face, game face. Sonia likes to pride herself on being a corporate mogul. Hi, Sonia. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? I think she's no stranger to focus groups, but I bet you she has never been a subject of a focus group. Welcome to the Millionaire's Club. We're very excited to have you this week. Thank We've you so much We've got a lot of things me. planned. Great. We know how hard it is to be strong women and can't find love, and we're going to totally help you this week. I totally think you. you absolutely can. I feel like in some ways we're kinship here because, you know, People, men don't come near me often because I, you know, I intimidate men. You tell that all the time. It's like yes, I repel men yeah, yeah. sometimes. Okay. I'm like, do I? My no, aura. you look beautiful. You're dressed great. You work out. You're in shape. There's nothing wrong with you. You're only 37 years old, right? 38. 38. 38. You actually corrected her up. Nobody ever does that. I'm proud to be 38. That's awesome. It is a privilege to get a year yeah. older. Okay. Since you missed your flight, Destin and Rachel went ahead and showed our eligible bachelors that were waiting to meet you your intake video. I want you to hear what some of the guys said. As a CEO, you know about focus gripping your product. What I'd like to do is have show you the video of um, what the guys thought of like you, the first impression they had. Okay. So this is like a little sneak peek of what they thought. Okay, great. Okay. Here we go. My name is Sonia Bright. 
I split my time between Philadelphia and New York City, and I own a chain of tanning salons, an indoor tanning lotion line that's- Okay, so you're leading with your resume right now. You led with your resume. Does that give someone attraction? No? Not many. On average, spa days, manicures, pedicures. Okay. So now you're indulging in your, in, it's all about me. I do hair, makeup, extensions, whatever. The world, everywhere from San Tropez to Bali. I'm not the kind of girl that you're gonna find flying in coach even an hour, even 45 minutes, ever. So how do you feel? That's not really me. That's you. That's, That's you. That's <laughs> everything about you. You cannot fake that out, honey. You, nobody put a gun to your head. That's you. So basically what, what we did is we had them write down their thoughts. And I'd love you to actually read them so to all So you're gonna read them out loud. loud, one by one, and tell me what they said. If you want to find a gentleman, you should try acting like a lady. Arrogant, pompous, and self-centered. If she is as successful as she tries to seem, then I would expect her to have more class. I would be embarrassed if I was married to someone like her. Okay, there's the M word, so he doesn't want to marry you. Feel like she is overcompensating for deep-seated insecurities. It's okay, you have to cry, it's okay, let it go. I feel like there must be a sweet person in there somewhere, but she clearly has so many issues that I wouldn't know where to start. She might be too far gone to rescue. Okay, nobody's too far gone to rescue. Nobody. As long as you're willing to do the work, you will find true love. It was a bit shocking to read the men's first impressions of me. So how do you feel? What are you protecting inside? There's a little girl in you that didn't- I don't react to things like that. Okay, I don't react to things by being- You're a woman, aren't you? You got a vagina. I still don't need to be an emotional mess. Okay, you're not emotional at all. And when a man doesn't see a slice, a sliver of vulnerability, he doesn't want a woman like you. He needs to see that you can cry and you're emo you have emotions and that you can give and take with him and it's not all about you and this is my rules and these are my things and I need this. Da, 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 da. Just needed to take it down a notch and chill. I care. Did anybody ever care about you in your life? So pay attention to what I'm saying to you. The only way to break an alpha is to have a doubly stronger alpha break them. I am not gonna allow her to brush me aside like she does everyone else. You're just so dead inside. I'm not dead, I just don't believe I need to sit here and sob like a little girl. No, there's more than that. You're just not going deep with me today. Sonia, give me your hand. Give me your hand. I'm trying to help you. Do you understand this? I'm really trying to help you. This is real. Like, I'm trying to make you understand that I want to help you. Why do you think you put the wall up? Because it's safe. Safe, right. So we have to get you unsafe. I'm exhausted trying to get her to realize there's a big problem here. Sonia is protecting her feelings and her heart by creating this abrasive exterior. And she really needs to get real with herself and realize she's the common denominator. She's the problem. She needs to get soft and sweet if she wants to woo a decent man into her life. Otherwise, she's gonna be single for the rest of her life. Please let the wall down. You trust me on this, please? Trust me. Okay. You really gonna say that? You're not yesing me to death. Please tell me you're not yesing I'm me, because this is serious to me. not the kind of person to yes someone And to I death. would be really, really offended if you really weren't invested in this process. I am curious to see who she thinks will be a smart match after the interview that we just conducted. Coming up. So you're Tony? Are you a long lost Braxton? Well, maybe. You're a private investigator that went out with America's <laughs> Most Wanted. Mm. He needs a strong woman like you to push the <laughs> and him back. Should the kitty come out? Yes. Patty, we have a problem. I told you this was gonna happen. Please let the wall down. You trust me on this, please? Trust me. Okay. You're not yesing me to death. Please tell me you're not yesing I'm me, because this is serious to me. Not the kind of person to yes someone and to I death. And I would be really, really <laughs> offended if you really weren't invested in this process. Because I work so hard at this, and I believe in what I do. Mm -hmm. You think she's invested? It's hard to tell. That wall is so strong. 
So are you ready to get started? Sure. On your yes. love life? So that you find true love by the end of the week? If that is genuinely who I am at the core and I'm in denial, then you are absolutely. In denial. You are in denial. But we're gonna get you out of denial. Mm -hmm. Sonia is a hard, tough case. I'm optimistic that I can get through to her, but now the hard work begins. Finding the perfect match. Have a good night. Thank you. Okay. I'm so excited today because I get to vet out potential dates for Roble and Sonia. Oh wow, look how nice this looks. Everything looks so good. Finding a match for the clients is a multi-step process. We have recruiters all over the world looking for our clients for that perfect diamond in the rough. Okay guys, we're super excited to look for Chef Roble. Louis, can you bring Francesca and Tony? Okay, remember what we're looking for, Chef Roble. Someone strong enough to grab his attention so they can work on a deep connection. Hi. 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 So you're Tony? I'm Tony. Are, are you a long lost Braxton? Well, maybe. I could be, no. What do you do for a living? I'm a motivational speaker and I also do nursing. I've been modeling since I was 13. Other than asparagus, do you eat? Private investigations. You're a private investigator? Yes. Oh, I love that job. I'm a hustler, I'm a business lady, and so I need somebody that can keep up. I create digital content based around fashion and beauty. It's all organic. Do you organic. go to work a lot for Fashion Week? I do go to Fashion Week, twice a year. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Hi, ladies. Did you buy a pair of boobs this week, or what? <laughs> He's a little bit into himself. OK, well, I can just teach him how to be a man. <laughs> Why should I pick you for the client? I just graduated from grad school, went to USC. Oh my god, I mean, you're so young. Did you get a scholarship or mm -hmm. you... full ride for grad school and undergrad? Wow. At impressive. USC. I also had a full ride at Juilliard. You attended Juilliard? Yeah. Wow. What's special about you? Well, I'm really into music. Like okay. super into music. Uh-huh. So does that mean you sing, you dance, no, you, it's you're just a DJ, like, what? I mostly like that's all I pretty much talk about. I'm sorry, I don't really have time for this today. You own a clothing line. Is that one of your dresses? Yes, it is. Okay, turn around, let's see. Okay. You are drop dead gorgeous. Thank okay. You. When's the last time you had a relationship? About a year ago. Almost three years ago now. <gasps> You're so clean. You're squeaky clean. And he turned out to be America's most wanted. What? what? Your private investigator that went out with America's <laughs> most wanted. Hmm. Oh. Let me think. Our millionaire lives in New York. How I do you feel about that? I live in New York. I love New York. I have friends she there. You so. lived in New York? I'm actually headed there again to visit soon. Ding, 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 ding. Mm. <laughs> ding, ding. Today's client is a tall, dark, sexy drink of water. Should the kitty come out? Yes. <laughs> if I were going to fix you up with this guy, you don't have a lot of time. Nope. Never been married. No kids. Longest relationship is two years. And he's a friend of mine. But is he ready for a relationship? Well, he thinks he's not, but I know he is. He needs a strong woman like you to push the on him back. Right. Good. Yeah. All right, you guys can go back to Louis. You did fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> OK, so let's look at all our choices. I have a few favorites. Rebecca, Morgan, and Tony. These are all beautiful, strong women that will show Robley it's worth taking the time to be in a committed relationship. So we've got a lot to choose. Oh my god, now I'm gonna like have too many to choose from. Okay, so we're gonna do the men. We're gonna do the Sonia's men. guys. Right. With a hard case like Sonia, I do worry how she will treat the dates. But in the end, if she screws it up and is disrespectful or rude to them, she don't deserve love. She is such masculine energy. We need to make sure that we find an uber super alpha. Man man. No heterosexual man is going to want to date somebody like Sonia, who is so masculine energy, so super alpha. Sonia needs a strong man who's going to bring out her feminine side, if she even has one. Louie, will you bring Jason and John? All right, guys, come on up, John and Jason. OK. Jason, what do you do for a living? Uh, aerospace engineering. Oh, John. Yes. Hey, so what do you do? I'm an accountant. Are you boring? I manage construction projects. Ooh. Pro snowboard coach. Wow. Commercial real estate. Well, that's a tough job, right? Yeah. Went to medical school, finished that, and now I am working as an entertainer because I want to. Why the f would you go to medical school, become a doctor, and now you're going to go entertain? Because I'm insane. An independent personal trainer. I do fitness modeling on the side with my twin brother. Whoa, you got a body. Thank you. Can we see your chest? Can I see the goods, please? Ooh, OK. OK. Oh, okay. Yeah. OK, show me the flex. Oh. 
the gun show. Are you ripped under that shirt? Try to be as much as Let's I see. Can. Show me the Oh, oh. wow. Tian, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> She's like five times the size of you. She may not look like a man, but she's totally masculine. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, this is... You don't seem very strong. No. Uh, you don't have this energy. I'm, uh, I'm the one that's outside the box. Oh, I don't like that answer. Uh, I think she would break you in half, literally. Not just, Maybe. No, she'd probably take that pink shirt off you. What turns you on about a strong woman? Um, I like people that are independent. OK. Uh, as long as you're not disrespecting me, I don't have a problem with it. How would you handle a woman? She never cracks emotion. Try to bring the humor out of her. I try to be funny as much as I can. You, know? you make humor? Yeah. I like that. So you deflect and make yeah, her laugh? I maybe do. that would work. Yeah. All right, so maybe I will pick you. Let me think about it. <laughs> All right, you have good answers, textbook. I like you. I'm a little worried you only had six month relationship, but you're on the cusp. Mm -hmm. Okay, you I really like. Well, so thank you very we'll much. see. Thank we'll you. see you, Louis. Thank appreciate you so much for you. coming. Yeah, I yeah, really well. appreciate it. OK, let's talk about who we're going to get first, OK? Paul. He's a nice man. Paul was good. I like Paul. He yeah. was all about being respectful to one another. Christopher. Christopher was awesome. Yeah. He was spiritual. He had the kids and all that stuff. Chris was really oh, good. Great. She will love that he's into fitness, and he also has a 15-year-old son. Yeah. OK, we have a lot of work to do. Let's go. You're right. I had to do some serious thinking when it came to Sonia's daters, but I came up with two amazing guys. She's about to go on the same date twice, so she can compare these men equally. Hi, hey, how, how are you? Good. Nice to see you. <laughs> Both of these men are great matches for her. They're fathers, they're into fitness. Seriously, these guys are fantastic. Sonia. Hi. Oh, look how Paul. beautiful you look today. Thank you. Pleasure to finally well, meet you. you. I'm feeling curious to see who they are, what they're all about. Because I don't think that Patty can match her socks. You're welcome. Can you give me my jacket, please? When I saw Sonia, I thought she was absolutely beautiful, and I was very pleasantly surprised. I think Patty's on the, on the mark so far. You're welcome. Uh, my first impression when I saw Sonia is uh, she was very nervous. I was nervous as well. I'm going to have a Dina Grigio. I think uh, everybody feels that way on the first date. What um, is it? Cranberry juice. Cranberry juice? Perfect. Are you on your period? <laughs> Where are you from? Well, I'm actually from Oregon. Okay. And I lived in Michigan for a little bit. And then Michigan? I, yeah, Michigan. You know where Traverse City is at? It's off the bay there. I am not familiar with Michigan. Yeah. That's boring. Where are you from? Uh, New Jersey. OK, OK. So, Tell me more about what you do. I started off working with my father in the uh, general contracting business. I started my own general contracting company in the last few years here. and. Okay. Uh, Construction is going well. You have three jobs. I'm so busy with my schedule and my job. I just don't have enough time for myself. Do you have time for women now? Otherwise, why are we here? Yeah. Chris doesn't even seem like he's interested really in dating anyone, or at least anyone for anything significant, more of a hit and run kind of guy. What do you like to do in your spare time? You travel? Do you have time to travel? I What's do. Your, uh... I travel a lot, uh, actually. I'm a big backpacker. Yeah. Backpacking. Backpacking. Where do you fit all your stuff? Seems like a nice guy, but I think that he and I have different wants. You know, I, I got to travel more. What's your favorite place you've been so far? Um, shoot. Austin, Texas. That's lame. <laughs> I have a 17-year-old daughter. I have three little ones. When the kids grow up, you start to feel sorry for yourself. Can I? Why? I don't know. I don't want to get old. Oh my god, get over yourself. Oh, Jesus Christ. What kind of guy are you looking for? Integrity is really Integrity key. is key. Well, you got that right here. Yeah, sure. Mm hmm I think he was trying real hard. I, I can only say that uh, I think you're an absolutely beautiful yeah. woman. Thank you. Bye. Are you kidding me? We should do it again. Let me know how that works out. Don't let the door hit you in the ass. <laughs> The worst first dates, I, I honestly, wow. Yeah. Oh, for Christ's sake. Everyone would be fired if they worked for me. Coming up. So this is the moment of truth. If she has the right to check out with you or not. There's a knock at the door. Give me your hands.
Now, you seem pretty calm. You're a little boring? No, not at all. I'm well, excited. I mean, what would you do if I gave you a feisty, strong, energetic, more successful, more talented, That's better very looking than you? What would you do? What would I do? Yeah, I would embrace what would you do? it. You'd what? Embrace it. You'd praise it. Embrace it. Embrace it. Oh, embrace so a really it. strong, intense, alpha, masculine female walks up to you. Masculine, I'm not sure, but um, strong is good. Hmm. Can I move on? I sent Roble zip lining for his date because I wanted to get him away from the kitchen, focus on the girls, and I knew he wouldn't have great cell service there. I chose Rebecca because she's smart, outgoing, and very independent, and she'll hold Roble's attention. I picked Morgan because she's an entrepreneur, travels to New York, and very, very secure with who she is. Hi, nice to meet you. Welcome to the mountain. Thank you. Thank you. You ever been zip lining before? Now that I can remember. It's fun, it's exhilarating. When I first met Rebecca and Morgan, I was really impressed. I mean, they're both uh, very cute, very stylish. I'm looking forward to spending some more time with them and hopefully uh, making a connection with one of them. This is the most advanced and safest zip lining company most in the world. Most advanced. Patty says that I need to make more time for a relationship. So today, these girls are gonna have 100% of my attention and we're gonna have a good time. Heart's pumping, heart's pumping. Real fast. Yeah. I'm feeling very excited about the date. He seems like a fun person. Outgoing, has a lot of personality. That's definitely the type of guy that I would usually be into, but you know, we'll see. I saw Broadway for the first time and it was really exciting. I had no clue what to expect, but it seems really nice. I'm excited to get to know Broadway better and, and it's a fun date. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, high Barely. fives? Can't see it. We did it. Yes. Strawberries, Aww. artisan cheese. Where are we sitting? Wherever you want. Where are you originally from? I'm from New York. Oh, OK. I lived in New York for four years. Six pieces of cheese. Mm -hmm. That was your idea of cooking. I thought you were going to make something good. Um. OK, OK, hold up, hold up, hold up. The girl's got some, I want to say balls, but the girls don't have balls. I'm, I'm digging her. I've never put a strawberry on cheese and a cracker before. Oh, berries and cheese are a great combination. He talks about being this big chef, and I'm like, <laughs> there's just cheese and crackers. But you know, I'll give him a pass, because zip lining was fun. You dance professionally? Yeah, I've always um, put my backgrounds in from college, and then I moved to LA, and I started dancing for a professional NBA team. OK, did y'all travel with the team? No, so we just stayed local. I do a lot of, a lot of traveling, so it makes it hard for me to be able to keep a steady relationship. I've had a girlfriend and like, almost three years. Hmm. Rebecca and I have just really been trying to get to know each other. We just, I mean, we, you see, we just met. And uh, I love dancers. You know, dancers are always in good shape. And she's cute, so bang, 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 hat trick. Why did Patty tell me that I need to be strict with you? Patty, Patty, Patty. Don't worry about Patty. She worries too much. I don't know. I think I believe Patty. Yeah? I, I think I'm probably half as bad as she thinks that I am. So why didn't you and your ex work out? Uh, we were, we were better as friends. Better as friends? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Want a little more of this? Bubbly? Sure. That's the right answer. That is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Very gorgeous. Not as gorgeous as you. I would like to think that, too. Cheers, one more time. Cheers. She's a cool chick, but uh, I have no clue which one of these young ladies I'm going to pick. We're off. Let's do it. I'm going to take my time and, and keep thinking tonight. <laughs> We're off-roading now. We're off-roading. Oh, there's Roble. I think that's Get Roble. Get him. Don't tell me anything, because I want to be surprised. OK. This is the moment of truth for both my millionaires and daters. Hey, Roble. Oh, there's hey. my man. I'm really nervous for Roble, because he gets to decide between Rebecca or Morgan or nobody. So you two ladies look absolutely gorgeous. But the girls get to decide, too. It may not be a match. So, oh, did you have fun this week? I had a ball. Tell me what you learned. Well, I learned a lot when I went out on my dates. Yeah? Turn the phone off 
I left it in the car. So, you weren't overly confident? No, I was humble Roble. I'm so proud of you. Yes. So, Rebecca, what do you like about her? She has a great spirit. Like, she just radiates good energy. And She's uh, happy. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no jaded parts of her personality, you know. So now, you go with Morgan. Right. Okay, so let's talk about her. Morgan and I go, the sun just touched on the horizon, it's champagne, strawberries. It's really, really interesting because mm -hmm. you really like both of them for various different reasons, mm -hmm. mind you, okay? So, this is the moment of truth. You must pick one person to check out with. Who are you going to pick? It's a really tough decision. I have to go with... Excuse me. Oh, it's Patty. Hello, Patty. Okay. Thank you. All right, ladies. Roble has made his decision. He has decided he would like to check out with Morgan. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you. You did so amazing. But Morgan has the right to check out with you or not. I never okay. considered that I can get dissed. There's gonna be a knock at the door. Mm -hmm. When the door opens, if Morgan wants you, mm -hmm. she's there. If she doesn't, Candace will be standing Thank there. Oh, oh Lord. This oh. Okay, all right, there's a knock at the door. Give me your hands, give me your hands, because okay. I'm nervous here, I'm nervous. Stand up. Oh my God, oh no. Together. You're even oh taller my God, today. How beautiful you look. I'm really excited that we both chose each other, and I'm excited to visit him in New York soon, too. Mm -hmm. How was he, he on though. a date? How was he on a date? <laughs> he was good. He was behaved. I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to you know getting to know each other better, spending some more time together on both coasts. Did you feel like you saw a future with this man? Yeah. I mean, am I gonna be planning a wedding in a year? It's it's possible. It's possible. Oh my god, I'm planning that wedding. Patty's everything. Like, there's no better matchmaker in the world. She's the perfect wing woman to have. Mm -hmm. She's so good. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. We made the perfect match for Roble, but once again, I'm waiting on Sonia. Patty! What? We have a problem. Coming up. I don't even know where to begin. I, I'm in shock. Stop filming, please. I'm glad we found this out now. Before you got into else, a relationship. Yeah. What's going on with you? Suck my ass. I'm tired. I'm going to my room. You guys can suck a dick. Sue me at this point. I don't give a because I'm going downstairs. I'm not going to. Sonia, wait. Don't leave. Stop filming, please. Talk to Patty first. Sonia's going home. What do you yeah. mean she's going home? She's pissed off because we didn't provide the best options for her. Those guys were great. Yeah, I told you this was gonna happen. What's going on with you? What's going on with you? What's happening? It's 7.30 at night, you were supposed to be with me. It's actually 8.15, she got a clock. Are you gonna with me? Cause like, you talk to me like this and this is why you're single. Talk to me. I don't understand Sonia right now. She's acting like a child. Why are you doing this? You're the one that signed up. No one put a gun to your head. We've been working so hard for her. We've done everything that my staff could possibly do, and she does not appreciate it. She's done nothing. I could have been helping someone else this week instead of you. I don't give a I think she's rejecting men because she's afraid she's going to be the one rejected, because she's a bitch. No one is ever going to love you. Suck my ass. Oh, really? That's all you have to say? You're just gonna resort to nasty ass comments? When Sonia resorted to name calling, oh no, 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 no. The Jersey came out. And trust me, Jersey can take Philly any day of the week. And when you don't get your way, you throw out a little temper tantrum like a three year old. If you're not gonna let me help you, then we're done here. Time to pack this bitch up, put her back on ice, cause nobody's really gonna thaw her out. Dumb. Don't yourself. Bye. believe what just happened, okay? This is what I want you to do. I want you to call Destin and Rachel and okay. get them up here and tell Destin and Rachel to bring the daters up, pull the contract, now, okay. now, okay. now, now, I'll now. I'll be right back. I'm beyond 
pissed. No one abuses my time or my staff in my house. This is her contract. So right now, I have to tell Chris and Paul what's going on. And I need to tell them that we do not tolerate this type of client at the Millionaire's Club. Please, gentlemen, what come on in. Hi, guys. What Sorry about on? the wait. I don't even know where to begin. Just everyone sit down for a minute, because I, I am in shock, OK? First of all, we apologize for keeping you waiting. This is not traditional at the Millionaire's Club. We have a very challenged client this week, as you know. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is she went crazy. She um, basically said that she doesn't want anything we've given her. She doesn't want to be here. This is her contract. OK, no one put a gun to her. It's revoked. Louis Shredder. And please send her a notification that her membership has been revoked. And please notify everybody that she spoke to, all past daters in the past, that she is no longer part of the Millionaire's Club. Got it. OK? Please notify her that. I am so sorry, guys. Now, okay. I want to hear from you. Christopher, what happened on your date? Was she nice? Was she sweet? Like, what was she? I'll be honest with you. She, I felt like she was being a little bit cold and guarded. So maybe it was like a forced impression? Yeah. I'm a little disappointed in Sonia you know, that she uh, kind of end up being a completely different person than I thought she was. What about you, Paul? Because you're pretty, you're a sharp shooter like me. Uh, all I know is I'm glad we found this out now before uh, Yeah, before you got into else, a relationship with yeah. because she's crazy. She seems like a yeah. loose cannon, to say the very least. It's, it's so sad because this woman is so wounded. I heard her tone and her temperament. There was no way I was going to bring you guys up here and let her pick one of you. There was yeah. no way. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to let that happen. I just think right now she needs therapy. Yeah. Not a matchmaker, a therapist. After what Patty told me about Sonia, definitely dodged a bullet. I, I couldn't be more happy that uh, she's out of the mix altogether. We're going to make it up to you. You'll get notification from Destin and Rachel, who okay. they have for you. All right. And you want to, Destin, you want to see them out? Yeah, oh my gosh, let's go. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank I you. promise. Thank, pleasure. thank you yeah. so much. Thank you so thank you, much. Guys. Thank you for Hi, coming. Guys. I appreciate it. I love Sonia's boys. I would be so honored to take these guys on as clients. We've been in business for 19 years, OK? This retreat business is way harder than a regular business, OK? Yeah, absolutely. And this particular client was the toughest client I have seen in the, I don't even think I can compare any of my other clients None. to this no. person. No, worst <laughs> I've ever seen. OK, the worst yeah, I've ever seen. And you know what I, down. you know the rule. You know the rule. Who's worse, the millionaire or the millionaires? Millionaires. I'm all for tough love, but the client has to meet me halfway. And Sonia clearly was not ready to do that. Robley, on the other hand, had a bit of an epiphany. Beautiful. If he takes the same passion he has towards his food, towards his love life, he and Morgan have a real shot at romance. And he should go past his two year maximum when it comes to love. Next time on Million Dollar Matchmaker. So do you remember Ashley from The Bachelor? Yes. Well, she's checking in this week. She's known for crying. She's still stuck on one of the guys from the show. And on top of it, she's still a virgin. We have another client this week. And he's the other extreme. He's laid back. Hey, Dakota. So you had a woman that lied to you about brain cancer. You had a woman that lied to you about being pregnant. You're picking mean girls. Everybody has their thing. No. He doesn't want you. Cut the cancer out.